What's up guys, I hope you're having a good one out there. We got a new product by Hollyland. This is the Mars 300. This thing is pretty sweet. It's a transmitter and receiver, comes with two, and you plug the transmitter into your HDMI port on your camera, and it allows you to transmit to the receiver, which can be plugged into a monitor, or you can plug it into a TV, like I have here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the TV. Now, I do have another camera that's transmitting the signal to here, outside. So as soon as this thing fires up, I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna live stream basically here into my office and you'll be able to hear it and uh, just see what you can expect. I'm gonna be doing volume, it does volume too, so I'm just gonna turn that up a little bit on there. And I'll be right back, I'm gonna go live stream from outside to right in here. Alright guys, I'm outside now and I'm live streaming to you who is in my office. Now, a couple different uses I thought about uh, to be used with this. Say I wanted to like live stream the moon to YouTube, where I wanted to come out here with my camera, set it up, point it on the moon. I could even get one of those moving tripods so that way I could follow the moon as it's moving and I could live stream right to my computer inside. I don't have to worry about, you know, running an HDMI cable way out here. Or let's say I was at an event that I wanted to live stream. Again, I could go and just hook this up to my laptop, plug it in, get it live streaming, and I could walk around everywhere. So this has a 300 foot range. Um, I have got it to go like up to 600, maybe even a little further, but they say it's a 300 range and it transfers HD video 1080p. So there's tons of different uses for this. Um, let's just go ahead and take a look what comes in the box. So in the box, you get the transmitter, a receiver, five antennas, an AC wall adapter, a USB to micro USB for updating uh, either device, a hot shoe connector, and a screw fitting for mounting the transmitter or receiver on its side. You can also mount the transmitter receiver via the quarter 20 threads that is on the bottom of both. So the transmitter and receiver are identical in size with the same lights and button layout making them very easy to set up. At the bottom you have the on off switch, then you have a pairing button, uh, you have a upgrade port, a channel button for switching channels. Then you have a link light, which represents the connection from the transmitter and receiver. And then you have a video light that indicates if you are actually streaming a signal from your camera. Now both the transmitter and the receiver have two HDMI ports. So on the transmitter, you have one that you can loop through to a monitor and then the other one would be from your camera. So you can loop through and have a monitor right there with your camera, and then you will send a signal with the transmitter to the receiver. And the receiver has two HDMI ports as well, and it basically allows you to send a signal out to two different monitors. Now you can power both the transmitter and the receiver with the Sony NP batteries or with the included wall adapter. Uh, with the NP batteries, they just lock into place and use this little button to unlock them. Uh, the one included AC adapter has a locking thread too, so it allows it to lock on. Just really good build quality overall. These are all metal uh, except for the battery plate on the back, so they have a really good build to them. Uh, to hook them up, you just power both the transmitter and the receiver on. Uh, you'll see the little link button go from solid green to a blinking red. It's like a slow blinking red, saying it doesn't have a connection. And at this time, you'll just long press the pairing button on both the transmitter and the receiver. You don't have to do it at the same time. Like if your cameras are separate, you can just go and push it on one till it starts blinking red very quickly, and then walk back over to your receiver, long press it, and then that will blink really quickly. And when they're blinking really quick, they're just looking for each other and then they'll turn solid green 
once they're finally linked and you from turn on to linking would take maybe a minute maybe not even that your video light will turn orange when it detects a signal from your camera and when the transmitter and the receiver break up maybe you turn one off or the other or they go out of range then both lights will go off and the link one will start flashing red So like I said before, the Mars 300 transfers 1080p video at 60 hertz up to 300 feet. Now to test out the range, I went out to the park, I set up a camera, pointed it at a monitor, hooked up the receiver to the monitor, and put the transmitter to a camera and started walking. I was able to go out to 300 feet with no problems at all, no drops in signals, and it wasn't till 600 feet that I saw the link button actually start to flash. There is some lag between the transmitter and the receiver. I found it to be about 0.2 of a second off. So there you go guys, the Mars 300, an easy way to transfer 1080p video wirelessly. I'll put a link in the description and that's that. Thanks for watching.